and thank you for taking the time to purchase our systems, uh, Pure Fresh White Blood Hound. I'm just going to go through on how to open up the system once you receive it. Um, whether you buy the Naughty Mate, the Odyssey system, or the plug-in system, we're going to go over everything so you know how to open it and uh, change the wafers and such. So if you purchase the Naughty Mate, as you can see, it's a passive system, meaning there is no fan in it. You're going to get a little prong like such that's going to come with uh, the system. It's going to come in a small bag like this. So what you do is you put it in at the top, you just push it down and pull it out, you'll see the system comes apart like this. At which point, once that's open, you can slide your wafers in. Now for the camera, i got a couple of used wafers that I'm just going to put in. So you slide it in like such, and it just pops in. Now you can put in one or two wafers. If you put in two wafers, the system will last up to 60 days without having to change the wafers. When you're time to change the wafer, you just pop them out like that. You might want to wear some rubber gloves uh, or latex gloves. Sometimes there's an oil on here that's infused for the fragrance and it gets on your fingers uh, or wash your hands really, really well. If you're going to reuse the wafer in a garbage can or a drawer or such, please put them inside a bag if you're putting them near clothing because the oil will leak on your clothing and stain it. So that's pretty well it in a nutshell. We're going to close it up. Now what we do is we just line up the bottom like such and then you're just going to Pop it in, just like so on the bottom. Uh, let me just wrestle with this. Okay, there we go. And then push the two prongs down, and you'll see as well. Then just snap it and close it, and then you can mount it. The unit also comes with two-way tape on the back. So you can either use that, or you can use a screw to just slide it on as well, the two prongs there. Okay, thank you very much. And we're going to move on now to the battery system that is really simple as well, not much to it, but it gets a little frustrating when they're new because they're really tight uh, and they take a while to loosen up. So your battery system, as you can see, I, I took the fan out. Now, if by chance in your trailer you've left the battery in over the winter or in your boat and such and it has leaked and wrecked the terminals, please don't throw the unit out. Just call us. We can send out a fan assembly unit. It's very simple, and it's really, really uh, minimal fee. Um, and this, how you'll see, it just slides in this way. Once you get it, you're going to lay it down flat. Press on the corners, and you're going to slide it in just like such. Uh, make sure it's nice and even. Okay, as such. Pop it in, and that should be it. Should be good to go there. Okay. Now you put your battery in, make sure your positive and negatives are on the right side, as you can see, just like that, okay? Your wafer on these ones, you're going to line them up, either right, right to left, left to right, either or. Um, the one side, it holds four, the other side, it holds three. So what I normally do is I put mine in like such, um, and then next month, if I like the same fragrance, I'll just add another one in front of it. Make sure they don't touch because you don't want them to bleed into each other. It'll take out the fragrance of the fresh one. And then you can put a third one the following month and continue onwards, just taking them out the oldest to the newest as such. Okay, so that's pretty well that in a nutshell. I'm going to show you how to close this one up. You'll notice on the battery system on the bottoms, there are two little prongs. Um, as you can see on the bottom right there, the two little prongs, okay? So when you are putting the cover on, what you want to do, and hopefully I'm going to see if Michelle can get in a good close-up, <clears throat> is you're going to line up the prongs on the bottom first. That's the best way to do it, right there as such, okay? Then you're just going to pull it the top a bit, and as you're sliding it in, you're going to see there's the two tabs, and they're just going to slide into the spot just like that. You heard it clicking. Now, to take it apart, if it's just on a shelf, the best way to do is you're going to slide your fingers in at the top, right where the gap in between the tabs, pull it down and back, just like such. And you'll see it opens up very easily. Okay, again, so we're going to line up the bottom and slide it in, just like such. Okay, really, really simple and easy. If it's wall mounted, because you'll see there's some screw holes there as well, or if you've taped it, what you're going to do is, on the bottom, you're going to see an indentation on the bottom, right there. Not sure if the camera is picking it up. So you're going to, as it's up on the wall, you're going to put your forefinger and thumb right there. And just push up 
with the other hand pulling it down towards you. And now it'll, it'll come off very easily. Okay, so that's that. The battery system is there. Again, any questions you can call us as we have a toll free number, 855 686 4550. Or you can even send us an email. It's the quickest way and we'll respond and help you out. Uh, I'm going to show you lastly the battery system. Really, really simple. Sorry, it's not the battery system. I, uh, I made an error here. The plug in system. This is our home system that we use. You'll see I got the little baggie still taped on the side here. Your cord's gonna come in that baggie, right? And how you're gonna do this is there's a tab at the top. You're gonna pop it in there like such, okay? Then you're gonna grab your cord and give it a plug in. And you'll see this little baby really, really circulates the air. It gets it moving really, really well, okay? That's the fan there. It's like a little computer fan that they use. Same thing with such with these. Let's take the tape off here. What you're going to do is make sure that you always unplug this when you're changing the systems. If not, you could hit the fan blade with the tab, breaking the blades. And I'll be honest with you, it's no good after that. Because what happens is that fan is it's a real pain and it's uh, pretty expensive to replace. So, again, you're going to line up the bottom with the tabs. I'm going to turn it this way so this way you can kind of see it. And then you're going to slide in the top. Okay, just pop it in, just like such. That's it. At which point then, you're going to plug it back in, and just like such. Okay. Very easy to maintain these. You can use a can of air spray when they get a little dusty, clean off the fan blades. You'll find that that way it keeps it moving properly, especially with the battery ones, because if you have the cheaper batteries, sometimes there's dust that gets in the motors. So it's good to clean them off. So that's it for now. I'm going to say thank you very much for your systems. Hope you enjoyed as much as we do. Any questions, please feel free to call Ben and Michelle at Pure Fresh by Bloodhound. Thank you.